Hello. Today, we're going to talk about building a quote builder in Google Sheets. When you look at what I've got in my current sheet, you'll note that I have two tabs. The first one is my product information tab, and the second is my quote tab. So in the first tab here, you'll see all the information about the products that our theoretical company sells. I've given each item a name, a price, a tax status, a service fee, and a descriptive type. Now over here in column A, I have purchased with a question mark. So as you scroll down the column, you'll see an X in every row that contains an item that I want to purchase for this specific order. So now let's flip over to the quote tab. Here you can see that I have some basic information, which you would just fill in on a case-by-case -case basis as orders are filled. What's special about this tab, however, is this part down here, which is dynamically filled in based on our sheet in the previous tab. So let's look at the first item. Now look up here and see the VLOOKUP formula that looks for the first X in our purchase list. Then our unit price formula here uses a formula to refer back to the row that our specified item was located in, assorted chips and dips in this case, and pulls the price of that item into this cell here. After you've pulled this information in dynamically, you manually enter the quantity of the items you want to purchase in this column here. The total column automatically calculates by multiplying the quantity by the base price. The second item in the list is a little more difficult because we want to find the second X in our list on the other tab. If you can't make out this formula in the video here, don't worry as I have a link to the spreadsheet in the article so that you can study the exact formulas that we're using at length. They're just a little complex to go into point by point in a short video like this one. So after this, the remaining items work in much the same way, so you could just pull the formula down into the following cells in order to make them live. To demonstrate, if I flip back over to our first tab and put an X next to beer, when we go back to our quote sheet, we see that beer has automatically populated into our quote. Then when I add the quantity, a total price is calculated. Now at the bottom of the sheet, we have a subtotal, service charge, tax, and total category that will automatically calculate based on the formula in each cell. Again, take a look at the linked sheet if you want to know exactly how we've set that up. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.